Welcome back to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. All right, guys. So we are continuing on our trail to Meridian. I have Slowly. three sons. Now they'll let me inside the Hunter's Lodge. Well, let's see how that turns out. Slowly but surely making our way there. I think... What campfire did we see? It said we discovered a campfire back here, but... Oh, oh it's right over there. Um... Yeah, we're slowly but surely making our way there. We started on this journey yesterday, but then we got sidetracked with the hunter trials. We actually did a really good job in those, though. If you guys missed that episode, it was a good one. Super, super challenging, but I'm happy with how we turned out. And uh, now we're going to see if that, uh, that feat pays off for us. Hopefully it does. But for now, I guess we just continue hitting the road and see what we find. Over the bridge we go. Uh-oh. We've got some guards here or something. What are these people up to? Just hanging out, enjoying the view? Lots of machines down there. Okay. I guess we'll continue on our way. Meridian straight ahead. We're going the right way. What was this called in Red Dead? Devil's Eye or something like that? Oh, looks like we might have somebody who needs some help here. Let's find out what's going on. No. What's happening, brother? Stay low, girl. Or you'll spoil the fun. <sighs> fun? Everyone has their reasons. Maybe you kill because you're compelled. I understand. Had a partner who'd weep at the feel of an arrow striking home. While we hunted the bandit scum, his eyes will never dry. Then you're a manhunter. Some kind of mercenary? Call me Nil. I've found where there is strife. There's bandits, picking the bones of the innocent, then whoever they can catch, then each other. But why wait? You and I could work together, kill them all. What do you say? I don't need your help to clear out some bandits. A loner. That's exciting. Don't worry. If they kill you, I'll finish them off before they can make a cup of your skull or any other nonsense like that. This guy freaks me out a little bit. I'm just gonna leave him there and uh, continue on on my own. We have a new optional quest if we want to take it, but uh, yeah, I don't know. He rubs me the wrong way a little bit. Uh oh. Got a dead watcher up here. That's never a good omen. He's back. What the fudge is that? Is that a Tyrannosaurus? Clear that up later. We aren't close enough to be able to scan it. A thunder Are you kidding me? Dude, do we even dare? Hold on. We did just get a save point. I say we do dare to try it. Just for the heck of it. What is this? What's he weak against? Blaze? What is happening? Dude, we've done like 1 20th of damage. We're hitting him in his weak spots. It does eight damage per shot. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> oh my god, dude. I feel like those canisters on the back are probably the weakest spot. It didn't even do anything, though. It did four. Come at me, bro. I ain't scared of you. We're doing 94 damage per hit, and he still... We barely done anything, dude. We're... This is ridiculous. Think about how one day we're going to be able to actually take this guy on and not get absolutely... Yeah, he just, uh, he just stopped us there. 
Now is not the time to try to take on somebody like that. It was a valiant effort, but it's not happening. Look at that dude, just pushing rocks out of the way. I can't wait to take down one of those things. I'm glad we tried it. Now we kind of know what to expect. They're freaking crazy. This little bunny rabbit. Machine sight discovered. Thunderjaw. Got a bony meat there. That thing is huge. And built to fight. Yeah, we aren't gonna mess with him. At least not right now. Maybe if we bring back an army. But we aren't ready for it yet. Holy cow. All right. Continuing on to Meridia. Dude, this has been a, a much longer journey than I was expecting, to be honest. This is, uh... This is quite the open world. Ghost Recon, another game we're playing right now. Glad you guys are enjoying it as much as you are. I mean, that open world map is huge. One of the biggest of any game ever. Three times the size of GTA V. And this... I mean, I don't know, this feels just as big. Although we haven't I'll seen the whole thing away. of either yet. But this feels pretty big. All right, the Broadhead Machine site has been discovered. I'll leave those guys alone for now. I don't need any trouble. We can craft up all of our arrows that we're currently missing. All these guys ever, these guys look like medieval soldiers. Yet, we're in a crazy, futuristic, robo-dinosaur land. It's weird. That's the waterfall we go. Every single one of these guys is taking their job so seriously. Do we have an option to talk to this guy? I need a moment. My duties today are endless. Okay. Yeah. These guys are, they're pretty serious. They're not here for fun. They aren't going to help us out. Oh, you know what I just remembered? Go to our inventory here. We should have a couple treasure boxes from the rewards. We did. Lots of metal shards just acquired. That's good. Yeah, last episode was a fun one. Hope you guys caught it. Anyway, here we go. We almost just doubled up our metal shards. That's pretty good. Meridian looks like the most well-built up town that we've seen so far. This is kind of interesting on the way in. All sorts of little gates and guarded terraces and bridges and wonderful. All kinds of stuff. Another campfire over here. Go ahead and set fire to that. I love this bit. I'm sorry for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. My this is outrageous. Is We're loyal sister. citizens. How long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything spoil? Huh. So this is where pretty much all the poor people live, right? It's like the, the peasants? In there somewhere. Peasants live on the outside of the town. We're gonna head inside. The outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. Also, one thing we have to remember is Meridian has the best the best merchants and stuff, so we're going to be able to, to buy some good weapons. Stop kind of right exciting. there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Aaron's sister is dead? Oh no. How would you know his name? I know Aaron. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha. Huh. I doubt that Aaron, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Hey, but he's got a crush on you. Hey, you're alive. I thought you were dead. Make way, make way. <laughs> All the way to Meridian just to see me? Oh, of course, bud. Have you been drinking? Ah, uh, not really. A little. So you're alive. This uh, we should celebrate. The drinks on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. 
From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There, alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. I, uh... I lost someone, too. At the Proving, the man who raised me. His name was Ross. I miss Ross. Why is it every time something terrible happens, everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, as though that makes it easier? Yeah, why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was... Attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. And some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Owen. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Owen is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I need Let's to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Come on. I still can't tell if Olin is actually guilty of being in on it, or if he just has that piece of hardware that he found that they're using without his knowledge. You know what I mean? People are all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. I just feel like somehow they, the killers could be accessing it, and that's what's causing it to malfunction for him. Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. What a... Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Aaron, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself! Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass! He ain't playing games! Not now. This is his house? Dude, golden doors? Dude's a baller. Okay, how are we gonna get in? I guess we're not golden. Let's kick it open. <laughs> oh, that was subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. Yeah. Other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. The corner of this rug is frayed. Near it is warm. So we can probably lift it up then, right? Underneath. It's got like a secret dungeon, secret basement. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it. 
without a key you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Find a way to break the hatch. Gotta be something else in here. It'll work for us. Call it a day, girl. We're wasting time. Family portrait. It looks like a picture of Owen's family. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, Here we go. Could be just what I need. Looks big and heavy. Let's give it a little push. Just gonna bust our way through. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Use a hand up here, bro. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? Just took half health damage there for that jump. Well worth. Made us look like a badass. Whoa. Two-dimensional representation, S directions, geographical data transported. A map. Giant map. The glyphs show places he visited. He's got a Looks journal. Like kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. What's this over here? Serve and they live. Disobey and I will open their throats and leave their corpses to prune in the sun. So he was blackmailed with his family's lives. They took his wife and child captive. They? Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. Okay. So Olin's There's not to proof. blame, really. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? Mm. The focus. It reveals the unseen. I trust him. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you, through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Messed up, man. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to of course. me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that. But the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I want to help him out. I'll head for Redridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Redridge Pass, you said. I'll Let's see do what it. I can do. Absolutely. So we have two main uh, two main objectives here. We've got uh, the City of the Sun, which is find Olin at the excavation site that was marked on his map. And then also the Field of the Fallen. 
Aaron's sister Ursa was ambushed and killed by the Shadow Karja. He wants to track down the soldiers who did it. Take his revenge. Looks like, uh... Looks like Olin's gonna be closer, so we'll do him first, and then uh, we'll meet up with Aaron afterwards. I definitely would like to help him out, though. I mean, he's helping us out. He's been a good friend so far, and he doesn't even really know us, to be honest, so... I feel like we kind of owe it to him. Ooh. What kind of merchants are these? Karja Artisan. Ostrom worker? More artisans. I really want to find somebody to get us a new bow, but I guess we'll we'll take on this this mission first, and then once we're done with this, we'll come back and explore around Meridian. I'm kind of excited to confront Olin and find out what the heck is going on. Obviously, he's not fully to blame here, but... He also did kind of sell us out, so I, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I understand his wife and kid were at stake, so he's got to do whatever he's got to do. But at the same time, he's kind of a coward for just being a part of their plan. And here's the merchant we were looking for just outside of Meridian. So uh, you guys can see these are all the weapons in the game pretty much. And um, Shadow is the best version. It's the purple, it's the rare one, they're the most powerful, best in every kind of department. So uh, we have a Shadow Hunter bow, which is kind of like your normal bow. We also have the War bow and the Sharp Shot bow, which is the one that we use a ton of right now. And um, it looks like for right now, they're a little bit out of our reach. These things cost 800 metal shards. The normal one's 650. We only have 304 right now, so we're gonna have to come back at a later day. I didn't realize they're gonna be that expensive, but it's all right. We'll also check out the hunting lodge and see if we can get some rewards for uh, performing well in our our trials of last episode. But uh, for now, we're just gonna head on to the Great Abyss and find out what the heck Olin is doing. Looks like we came across some friendlies trying to take down whatever the heck this ostrich looking thing is. He's down. A long leg. I'll never speak ill of the Nora again. Thank you. You're welcome. So the seven of you guys were struggling with taking that thing down and then I come in and just just finish them off, I guess. I'll take the credit. I only had to put like three arrows into them. And now we're gonna get a bunch of loot. Alright. We're gonna loot this up. We're gonna continue on. We're really close. Woo! A Ravager! Those guys look like little mini sawtooths. We're just gonna hope that we can sneak by. Gonna keep on running. I don't want to mess with those guys. Have we seen those before? Maybe we have. I don't know. I think at best we get the heck out of here. These guys are not good business though. It's so hard to tell who's uh, who's good and who's bad, man. It's, uh, I don't know. I guess the bandits are all kind of like red with the skull masks, but from a distance, like everybody's kind of cloaked up and it's just like, sometimes it's hard to tell who you're looking at. We need to work on our health, our health pouch here. Health pouch is looking weak. It's been looking weak for a while. So we got three little plants here, nice. It's helping us out, ooh, four. Take like a fourth. I'm not here. Anybody else? Ah! 
I have no problem getting up close and personal with you, little buddy. He's down. Cancel the search! Converge! Trying to save up some of my uh, my good arrows. So this is interesting here. This is a, a very heavily guarded enemy territory. Lots of enemies out scouting around and stuff. This, uh, who knows what's gonna happen here? This should be interesting. Wire is hard to come by though, so I don't like wasting stuff on the uh, precision arrows. I thought we were gonna have to find a way to get that pulley down, but no, we can just uh, we can just climb up. Dust won't stop blowing. What do we? Yeah. What are these guys doing? There's our boy. This. Bring these ancient things back to life. Their power serves us. Machine demons from beneath the ground. It's a nightmare. Nightmares, yes. The worst dreams of our enemies come true. Yes. Oh my god. Rise. Two corruptors. Uh, so much for catching him alone. These things will destroy us all. They will only destroy our enemies and bring us back the lands that were taken. Ah! Stop working. Search the area. We may have intruders. Forgive this intrusion, Aloy. You left me no choice. <laughs> Who is this? An interested party. Now the focuses are disabled, but I don't know for how long. The rest is up to you. Who is this? What the heck? Kill the corruptors and the cultists. Where's Olin? Okay, so Olin's not a target, just the cultists. I'm gonna highlight everybody first, and then I think we're gonna go around and just take them out one by one. We'll kill the cultists first, and then try to take down the corruptors, maybe? I feel like that's the best game plan. Dude, this is gonna be so hard. Two corruptors! By myself. You want me to take down two of them? Go over here and take this guy down. So instead he wins the race, I guess. I just, the Corruptors, they're weak against fire, right? Do they have any like blaze stockpiles or anything around here? They still don't know where I'm at. Cultist Punisher? What was that? Dude, I have no clue what's going on.
Just gonna keep sneaking around the base, taking people out. They're searching for us. There are no blaze traps or anything. I guess we can set down some fire traps. If we wanted to. Actually, that guy has blaze on him. We're using lots of arrows here. That's Olin and we can't take him out yet. So we're let's try these flame arrows. Olin might be helping us out right now. Honestly, I can't even tell. Oh, we're seen right now. Got him. Okay, now it's time to try to hit the corruptors one by one. Let's get this over with. Just like that. Just make sure they don't see us. Honestly, I have no clue what our best what our best move is here. Maybe to load up multiple. Get him right in that little spot. That's not even doing anything. We could heat up his overheat thingy. If you get him to overheat, they die, I believe. Watch this. Overheated, I believe. I can't tell what's going on, man. We're wasting so many arrows right now, I don't even know what's actually working. Did 119 damage there. I mean, we're doing okay here through our small arrows. We aren't even really taking damage. Do multiple small arrows. Multiple the small arrows. Multiple the small arrows. He's almost dead. Fall back, girl. No matter what you do, don't fall off the edge. He's down. Okay. I guess we can handle this. This is going to take a hell of a lot of arrows.
still has no clue where we are. Where the damage of pop just keep moving back and forth. I think Owen may help this guy. I can't quite tell what's going on. We just did 217 damage right there. Go get him, Owen. Yeah, Owen's helping us out, dude. I, I'm beyond confused. Gonna hit that rocket thing on the right side now, though. Woo! 89 damage. I'm just trying to conserve all of our arrows, bros. All of our scrap and stuff we've been collecting. We're better off creating crappy arrows and wasting all that rather than wasting the wire of the, the heavy arrows. Go ahead and bring our health up a little bit. Wow, he dodged that. Opponent removes. Right in the eye. Almost gone. One more. That's it. Whew. Now we've got to go talk to Olin. After we scavenge these things. I'm excited. Metal burn. Should get a lot of stuff from this. 304 or 60 metal shards. That's pretty good. Nice. Is there anything else around here? I know there's a lot of dead soldiers. So before we talk to Olin, we're going to make sure that we got everything that we need. That was a pretty tough battle. It was, I mean, if, as long as you just stay up on the, um, the what's it called, you're fine. Up on the height. They can't get you from that high, so. It wasn't too bad. It just took a lot of, uh, a lot of shooting. A lot of shooting. But. We came out okay. We didn't lose too much. Just a bunch of sticks. Which honestly don't really matter anyway. Those can be found anywhere. Let's grab this last guy here. Not gonna worry about anything else. Alright. Olin. My friend. Tell me what in the world is going on, my man. I promise. I'll tell you everything. I know you will. Who are these killers? The killers who came for me at the Proving. Who are they? The Eclipse. Some kind of holy warriors. A cult of the Shadow Karja. Shadow Karja? Except they're not like any Karja I've known. They don't pray to the sun. They worship some kind of devil. Devil worshippers! I'm not interested in their superstitions. Oh, it's not a superstition. Their devil is real. It has a name, a voice, the most terrible voice, and they do its bidding. You say this devil, the Eclipse Worship, has a name? Hades. That's what they call it. <laughs> is it a machine Hades. or a person? And you've heard it speak? Steal to my soul. I heard just once when it saw you. Such a voice. A cold awful jangle it scrapes your bones it hollows your guts a metal sound but like nothing dug from the earth or smelted in a forge and what did it say system threat detected just three words but in the voice of a devil so it's a robot it's probably gonna be our final boss now who's the this mysterious to kill me because i look like another woman older maybe twice my age short hair who is she I don't know. My focus found her image once in the ruins at Maker's End. Maybe you can find her there. You found her image in the ruins? How? There was a door beside it, a kind of ancient device that contained the woman's image. My focus recorded the location. You do look like her. Is she your mother? I'm the one asking questions. Why are the Eclipse digging up ancient machines? And how do they get them to work? 
I thought they wanted them for scrap, but they brought them back to life. Plugged some kind of device into the corpses so that Hades could whisper to them and call them from their grave. I've fought that kind of machine before. Are there others? Yes. The ones you fought today, they call corruptors. But there are others, much bigger, bristling with ancient weapons. Those they call Deathbringers. I've only seen them buried in the ground, but after today, Dude, this is anything creepy. is possible. Sounds to me like they're raising an army. If so, the world will fall. And I helped dig the pit. What are these Eclipse cultists after, besides me? They never said. But given the Karja civil war, they must want to overthrow Sun King of Ard and take Meridian back. What do I have to do with that? I don't know. When they attacked and the, the Brumate, a man threat. came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. He is. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Asuram called him, when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. If only he'd died with his king. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive. All right. We know why he was recruited. I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. I won't beg for my life. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Please. Where would I find them? My focus recorded the location. There are always guards there. You look like you can handle yourself. It will take many good deeds to make up for I'm the crimes you've committed. You're sparing me? After all I've done? Yes. Forge a new life, Olin. One of better make. Then the rest of my life will be lived in your debt. Go to the place where your family is being held and wait for me. We'll make their lives the first ones you save. I didn't earn this mercy, but I will die to make myself worthy of it. I will be waiting for you. I don't know what it is, but I just, I trust him. And, and that might be one of my weakest qualities is that I see the best in people, but I truly do trust him. I think he realizes he made mistakes, but he was making them to try to save his family. I don't think he, he realized the, the magnitude of the decisions he was making, but he was making them for his family, which, uh, I mean, I think we all could relate to. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Would you have saved him? Be honest. Leave comments down below. I'm going to catch you guys later and uh, see you all in the next episode. Peace out.